reason where I show my nanan is so they will look at my nanan instead of my weight. This is the Wow Show. Wow! Women on Women. I'm Shazmin Shamsuddin <laughs> with... Joanne Kampopo. And I'm Ning Baizura. Hello. Okay, now we're going to talk about something that is really close to my yes. heart lately. And I know that it's close to your heart yes. too. It's the lengths that women mm -hmm. go to um, to get the body. perfect body. <laughs> perfect body, okay? Body beautiful. And um, at, the, at the time of this recording, it's been 21 days since I've had bariatric surgery. Woohoo! Barani, <laughs> okay, Barani, Barani, Mangaku, Barani, yeah, Barani, Mangaku, right? Yeah. I, I, ha I can feel my my um, cheekbones, huh? cheekbones coming out. My cheeks ah. are not down here, lah. Okay, I can feel oh my collar bones. Wow. So, how much have you lost, Chess? Well, uh, considering it's twenty-one days, mm -hmm. I've lost about eight kilos so far. I'm at a bit of a stall because I'm coming back to soft foods. Correct. Yeah. After you know, getting the gastric sleeve. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, it's been. Uh, what made very you do interesting it? Ride. You know us. what made me do mm, it? Yeah. I fell at the office because I was tripping over my own feet. Yeah. And the reason why I was tripping over my own feet was because I had become lumbersome. I wasn't heavy. walking properly. Yeah. Um, I was overweight. I still am, but you How know. How heavy were you? <laughs> Can we not ans <laughs> ask that question? <laughs> no, no, it's okay. okay. Hey, it's okay, no, la. No, it's okay. It's okay. We talk about. Yeah. I mean, I'm sure it's a lot a of women out there. Okay. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> I yeah. don't want to discuss numbers. Okay, no need, no need, no need. <laughs> but I was, you, know, yeah, I, you know. The numbers were high, and it, it but was. But now you, an like issue. the clothes are loose, lah. Yeah, the but you are loose, lah. But the thing is, it was an issue that was becoming detrimental to my mobility, yeah. okay. my health, and just my mental state as well. So I finally yeah. decided, let's do it, yeah. and mm -hmm. I did it. And um, I'm so glad to say that I didn't have the same kind of issues that a lot of people who had weight loss surgery mm -hmm. get. Different like people like react differently. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. So they, they get like yeah. gas pain in their shoulder Oof. blades and, you know, they vomit and all this stuff. Oh. Um, you know, almost a month in and uh, knock on wood, I don't have those issues. It's been smooth sailing. You're so lucky. I'm really happy. Yeah. And, um, Proud of you. And, you know, it's on the rise though, yeah. this weight loss surgery thing. A right. lot of people yeah. but um, here's, have taken it up. Here's the thing, mm. okay, with bariatric, it's not something which... Uh, that will be, for me, mm. my ultimate extreme. Mm. But I have thought about it. So mm. when you wanted to get that, yes, I <laughs> buat dulu, mm. nanti aku cok, mm. aku tengok macam mm. mana. But how big do you actually need to be for it to be kind of deemed like, okay, you need this surgery? Mm -hmm. Is there right now uh, good help out mm. there? or even before this clinic because I know a lot of people are offering mm -hmm. that they will consult you mm. okay. adequately. Okay. Joanne, the thing is, is you have to see a bariatric specialist mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and they will assess you medically and everything else. Mm -hmm. I do know of some doctors out there who offer it to yeah. even... Without even looking at yeah, your background. Exactly. Slightly scary, overweight huh? women or, yeah. or men, um, for that That's matter, who, who want to do it because of cosmetics reasons. And a lot of people reasons. have done it a couple of times. I know a few yeah. people. You mean like after one well, time they, they do, do it again? again. Oh, okay, that said, that said, Ning, they do that because um, they Why? may have other issues that come up like oh. um, gallstones and, oh. um, you know, But it's like GERD. removing something out of your body. I guess not, e not uh, every human body will react the same. The same. Yeah, yeah, correct. Yeah. Because it does say that even when I'm extensively yeah. reading mm. it at night about tak boleh tidur kan cuma dah tua so they ikat your perut or what? no 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 then they removed 80% of my wow. stomach wow so if my stomach was like this before mm -hmm. now it's basically the size of a already. banana it's oh wow small. okay so so with 80 mm -hmm. let's say if you go in and you don't want 80 you just want them to remove 50% boleh ke? I don't the know you'll decide, have to right? ask your doctor the specialist, oh. specialist will decide yeah right? the specialist will decide wow. but for the most part most people remove 80% because that is where it becomes effective for your goals. And my goal, obviously, but is to come down mm. in, But food in intake, why is then the food is going to think like, oh, it's gone smaller now. It's going to yeah, go through the, the, yeah, the, the can, stomach. You can't feel it's a whole lifestyle like change, this. you know. Right, um, the I'm first sure. two weeks I was on, well, the first week I was on clear liquids. 
second, third mm. week, I was on liquid, so protein shakes and, and water. Mm -hmm. Third, fourth week, soft foods like yogurt, mm. you know, mm. and tofu, soft tofu. Mm. Fourth week, okay, soft But you can only food. eat so much as well, right? You can tell yeah, that you're... Uh, yeah, where okay. if I had a plate of, you know, food before me, yeah. now I can only take... Little very bit, little. Very little. Do you and feel I'm like you've full. got lesser appetite though? Um, you which I'm, you know. Okay, here's the interesting. Uh, physically, I do have lesser appetite, but mentally, <laughs> I'm like. You not makan. Like, macam yang kita baru order lah. You not. Tapi I don't think you can. So yeah. Ning ordered all this food for lunch, <laughs> yes. we're, which we're gonna eat after this. <laughs> And I've made my order, but mm -hmm. I will know for a fact yeah. that I will only eat a quarter of that yeah. and give, yeah. you know. Give yeah. the boys. Give, give, yeah, give sure. Boys. Give men who can eat yeah. around Asal us. Asalkan you puas dapat rasa. Yes. <laughs> it's all about the mouth feel <laughs> and, and whatnot. So, yeah. Yes, yes, um, I never in a million years thought mm. I would go down this route, surgery. Mm. Um, I'm glad I did. It was about time. And I had a lot of support from my family mm -hmm. and friends mm -hmm. and yeah. the doctor um, that I, I went with. Um, is a champion. He's been doing this for years. I, I have a question. Before have it you started exercising? Even, so no, I haven't. Oh. Um, and the only reason for that is because work got really hectic. Um, it, you know, we're you going lah. towards the end of the year. Yeah, yeah. I can I can exercise Yoga now. or something like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. Mm. Um, yeah, my dad's not well either. Mm -hmm. So yes. I'm so rushing from the office. Yeah. 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 That's your yeah. exercise, actually. Yeah. Yeah. That's my exercise. Yeah. 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 The routine. Of yeah. Well, I think the need to pursue weight loss yeah. mm -hmm. it's not only true to three not of us for it's, women. it's for women and men and mm -hmm. men women and men so like when bariatric was something mm. of an option in the mm. last one to two years i was heavily looking into it but mm. i'm also a plus size advocate. Mm. so i needed to ask myself okay you want to lose weight mm. I basically just want to lose weight so I look fuckable. That's about <laughs> it, right? I don't care about anything else. Dude. You have your husband, yeah. okay? Uh, but, uh, you, just you want know, to look good for yourself. I just want to yeah. look good for myself, yeah. right? I want to be able to wake up so that I can fuck myself. But uh, <laughs> you're bleep it. Lah. You're bleep it. So all the while, for the last <laughs> three to four years, yeah. uh, every time, one month before my birthday, I'll all go this. into a HCG diet. Mm. So for those of you who want to know more, because I cannot pronounce the actual mm. name, Google. just Google. Okay? The word the gonads Google. is in there somewhere. Yeah, yeah. It's, not, oh, it's not like, it's, so, it's, it's common. It's from before. Yeah, you know? it's from it's before, but not a lot of people know about mm. it. Uh, how I knew about mm. it is because I watched Oprah Winfrey and her doctor, I forgot which doctor that she Dr. Uh, Phil? Dr. Phil recommended <laughs> it. Yes. This is how old I am, yes. Dr. Phil. Love, yeah. uh, and Dr. Phil recommended and I read up. So I have done a few courses and every year, just before my birthday, I will take it up. And it's very strict. Uh, I'm on phase two right now, so which means I can only eat According 500 calories. Calories, yeah, calories. And it's very specific, but I understand the science behind it because the my metabolic rate is slower right. and i need to burn more especially when we are above 40 plus how, how many days already you been doing it right now uh this is the fourth day mm -hmm. okay what happens is you load for two days you eat mm -hmm. everything you want mm. makan kfc ke as apa -apa lah. apa -apa, the more fat it is mm. the the thing is it tricks your body the more it's fat like it is yes correct of. So for two days, you eat whatever you want, and then you go to 500 calories for 23 mm. days. You inject your HCG injection, mm -hmm. and you do very, very specific, allocated, allowed of uh, foods, you mm -hmm. know, to a point mm -hmm. that you can't even use soya sauce. You need to use I amino acid. I remember, uh, actually, after the, I gave the birth. Chapat. So where, where do you inject yourself? Here, here, Body. Here. Oh, oh, I right. I've it Don't forget, I also have okay, diabetes. I also have yeah. diabetes. Okay. So I also inject my insulin. So my whole my whole perot is all injected. A lot of story there. La. A lot. <laughs> so many. You book I can tell you yeah. piece by piece where the injection go. Right. Uh, but you will lose about one pound a day. Yeah. Oh, okay. You will lose before. about one pound a day. Mm. Then after that, you're supposed to do like a keto diet kind mm. of thing. Mm. And then stretches that to six weeks. And then you're supposed to balance. But usually after the first one month, mm -hmm. uh, that's when your mulut is, Aku boleh makan! Yeah. So that's why I do it every year. <laughs> okay. But uh, okay, you spend, I know this is an expensive uh, mm. you yeah. know, procedure. Um, well, the, yours is not yes. cheap either. Mm. Yeah. Mm. But the thing is, 
do you feel that you know all this money and effort um, and torture really um, <laughs> doing this that you it's very you simple. Know, don't, don't see it like I need to maintain or even lose more weight after uh, this whole treatment. No, 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 no. For me, because I still want to be a plus size advocator. Okay. All right. So I do not want to be skinny, skinny. Mm -hmm. yeah. I cannot be 60 kgs. For me, if I'm 70, 75, I'm okay. Mm -hmm. Because, okay, very different uh, from singers and mm. MCs. Mm. My clients want me chubby, chubby. Yeah, 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 yeah. They, they, especially and the sexy, Chinese sexy one. They the want the sexy, yeah. they want the mm. nan nan, but they want the chubby. Because <laughs> I remembered when I took it uh, three, four years ago, yeah. I was so skinny. And you know how, how small did you get? I got to 72. Okay. That's like to a point I went for events. And there are events. Ah, there are many. Then yeah. my, my agent, uh, my client said, hey, where's your anchor popo? Then my agent said, there, sini. And then my client actually said, like this, ah? why why so small already? Uh, I want the right, big big one. Right. <laughs> so so like in yeah, Chinese yeah. mentality and even in you know, Malaysian, Malaysian, Malaysian mentality, yeah. sometimes as a comedian, yeah. Yeah. Ah, as a comedian, Nanti you uh, 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 like uh, like uh, that's <laughs> how they feel. Like, yeah, bila you besar, you're funny. Uh, uh, it's very <laughs> odd. It's a very Asian yeah. thing. Yeah, no, yeah. I, I identify with that yeah, because yeah. back in my radio yeah. days, I at one point I was down to like 58 kilos. Mm -mm. And yeah, people, there's a lot. 58 people said, said right now, yeah, yeah. Like, I mean, wow. No. People were like, you're not as um, bubbly. bubbly and nice as you were when you were, uh, you know, a lot heavier. And I'm like, that's because I'm fucking grumpy. <laughs> <laughs> I have Ooh. seen trying to maintain this, you yeah. know, weight. Okay. Oh, so you know you Rebel Wilson? Diet. Rebel Wilson? Yes. yes. Okay. Oh my God. She's when not she funny anymore. <laughs> I was, I'm fine, but the right. I'm, I'm so sorry. I love her. I'm sorry. I love you, Rebel. But when you did the. I loved it when she was big. Yeah. Size, when she was bigger. It's like so funny. Uh, because some people. Mm. Okay. I feel for singers, it she works chanted, better. Nah. Yeah, like, like Adele. Adele. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. Adele gets sexy and yeah. you're like, oh my God. Yeah. Now she's going out with yeah. what? Yeah. Uh, basketball player. <laughs> oh, come. <laughs> especially. Hot. You yeah. see the difference. Yeah. This is why I want to be like, yeah. you know, like right, that. Not to say I'll get basketball players in Malaysia. But you know, I never know. Ada banyak kat luar aku tahu. Football player pun ada. Ada. Kan dia orang tahu ada. But for singers it might work. Yeah. But, but for comedians, especially actress. Exactly. You yeah. know? I, I agree. Kau faham tak? It's a stereotype ke? If we yes, say it like it's that. a bit I of stereotype. Yeah. I, mean, I mean, like, basically, if I'm in US right mm -hmm. now, I'll be considered normal. Mm. Like, like, yeah. like PT. Yeah. Yeah, like yeah. I visited US where yeah. I was like size eighteen, and when I want to buy li baju yeah. is petite, you know, not yeah. even is petite. Yeah. Like the, the yeah, girls yeah. over the country yeah. petite yeah. and petite yeah. kecil. Yeah. <laughs> so, <laughs> so, oh, my ex ex, you like okay. <laughs> your story, sekarang your story. Okay, okay, okay. You buat, my confession mm, of mm, mm. my kurus craze, mm, mm. uh, <laughs> macam mana cakap ah uh, craze mm -hmm. happened with my sir. I kecil kecil lagi. I mean, I've always been this big size girl. Um, I've always got my shape, mm -mm. Uh, you know, which is like that, you know, that I never embraced that, you know. And then masa I mula-mula start singing, I was, I was, I was, yeah, I, I began with like 80, you know, mm -hmm. but because masih bergetar, kan, you're still yeah. young, mm -hmm. so Betul. the 80 still looks fine. Mm -hmm. um, and then over the years, I myself looked at myself and I was like a bit pressured by my own photos. When I looked at myself like again on TV, I'm like, ooh, I cringe. Ooh. Yeah, I'm so critical. Yeah. And I'm like, we always are uh, worth critic. Aku besar sangat, kenapa mm. nampak nenen je? Kenapa nampak? Eee. So I became obsessed with like wanting to have konon-konon nak kecil at that time. Right. I just want to look small, but there's no way that I can be small. Yeah. This one is still a set. This one is still a set. Yeah. So, I have done the HCG now that you mm. mentioned it, Can. but it didn't work for me. So, but after giving birth, I think um, I I was a bit infatuated with the fact that uh, I I I think I was depressed. You know, I went through that depression of like, oh my god, dah tak ada susu lepas tu nak lose weight, mm -hmm. and I'm not losing all the weight from the susu, and I was like dry. And uh, six months later, I have to start working, mm -hmm. and it was all this pressure going through my head. And my uh, well, my mother saw it. Um, but none of my family members like 
adalah my kak, you know the, the kakak tiri and stuff whatever they kept saying like so all these name calling in school even was mm-hmm. like really you know damaging my mental health right um but only like after i gave birth to ryan and my husband was is like my so mate lah mm-hmm. who actually tells me ning you know there's there's no need to be pressured maybe because he was married before <coughs> her. so his second marriage is like really cool you know with me lah Uh, my first one, of course. Dia cakap, you know, just embrace yourself. Just, you know, like, it's fine. I love it that you're, like, very curvy. Mm-hmm. But I was not happy myself. And then, it took me a while. So, when I reached 40, in confession, yeah, please, <laughs> uh, don't make me viral, ah. Uh. <laughs> I decided that I wanted to do something with my body. But that was also because I, I, I wanted to just, you know, Mm-mm. lift Live sini lah kan, sebab I malas nak pakai bra. I was just like, ugh, leche. It's true. And then, I mean, for a woman like me, I don't want to, I just want to like, okay, quickly just go and just wear something and like, poop, it sits there. You know, so when I was 40, now I'm 48. For for five years, until 45, I was seeing the same doctor. Tak juga buat-buat. I kuno-kuno nak lift lah, nak buat ni lah, lepas tu. I, that was all. My my goal was just to have nicer boobs. Mm-mm. Okay? So that when I have my thoughts, was like, oh, aku boleh jadi Pamela Anderson lah kan? Jangan <laughs> 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 gelak. Yes. Do, doing that slow-mo run <laughs> where I have got like right. longer torso. Because I don't <laughs> have. Right. <laughs> That's my dream, kono kono Pamela Anderson Baywatch at that time. Nampak sangat aku tua. But anyway, um, I, I finally did it at 45. My husband was there to hold my hand, and I lifted because I dah beranak kan. Mm-hmm. So suka ti Ayla because um, you know, and my husband was so supportive that he said, "Sayang, since you are actually lifting, mm-hmm. why don't <coughs> you make sure that the lift lasts?" <laughs> Can. So tak kena live Might je. as well because, because my doctor said, yeah. "Kalau you live every year, you want to live, live, live again." So mm-hmm. dia akan jatuh juga. Dia akan go east to west. So I lifted, I augmented. Lepas tu, my husband said, "Why don't you do it all?" I mean, what do you mean? Just you know, I know that you. So he is a very, very practical man. He's an Iron Man. So he saw me like exercising. I said, "Sayang, I'm going to give myself like a few years to exercise. If mm-hmm. this fat is not going to go away." I might just have to do something about it. So I went to Kajut when he said to the doctor, Doctor, why don't you straight away, like, you know, um, since you're already augmenting mm-hmm. and, you know, uh, doing all these things, lifting, why don't you straight away just give her a... Um, at first, he said tummy tuck, but we didn't know that tummy... T- I'm not eligible for tummy tuck. So I don't have enough fat. Lagi. Mm. So <laughs> doctor said, you cannot do tummy tuck lah for, for your wife. He said, so what, what should I do? Like, just liposuction? I'm like, what? So my idea of like life possession, I don't want to die. Yeah, you know, because there's been so many cases. Yeah. But there's been so many cases. Itu pasal it went like five, lepas lima tahun, 40, you know, 45. Baru I decided, okay, now the time is right. But of course, every year the price gets higher and higher and higher. Right, right. I should have done it when I was 40. Well, the thing is like, we don't come to these decisions yeah. overnight. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I think no, we've shared. No, that's why I was thinking about that. it. But you know, having said that, It's not as easy as that now. Huh? After my lipo, so I removed about, uh, well, the doctor removed about, uh, how to say, it, how do they 15? gauge? How do they gauge? When he goes in and he, uh, he 15 opens kg, up. 15 kg? Yeah, 15. Fif, wait, 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 no, 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 it's wrong. 500 grams of fat. Ah, okay. That's more like it. 500 grams of fat. So when I came out, And then he gave a freebie lagi dia buang my punya love handles. Oh my ah, god, dia boleh buat macam wow. tu. Yeah, sebab dia kata and I was like in surgery for too long that my husband mm-hmm. got worried. Yeah, of course. It was supposed to be two hours, two hours. Lepas tu it went on to like six hours. My husband, how how's my wife? Why is he still dear shock pula? He's like the type of doctor mm-hmm. who give charity sikit <laughs> lagi lagi di ning by Zura mm-hmm. kan? And then since yeah, he saw like a lot of fat here and there, so okay lah. Bila keluar daripada lipo tu, I felt like I memang kena melanggar lori. Seriously, it was like, apa ni? Berat. Hmm. Oh, okay. First berat sebab dah lift. Ya, yeah, dah lift. Ah. Lepas tu, I tengok, eh, macam Wonder Woman. Lepas tu, <laughs> I tak tahu lah. Because I'm like, oh my God. So, I took my photo before and after. 
wonderful. Okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but af- uh, the after effect is like everything is swollen down. Yeah. So, but your course. body is not used uh, to the fact to that it adjusts. It hasn't settled. Yeah. yeah. And <laughs> my son at that time, of course, he tak faham lagi. And he was like, mommy, what are you? It's better actually to do it before he can ask many, many too Correct. much questions. Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, masa MCO tu aku buat lah. Aku buat, buat, buat. Lepas tu, bila aku keluar, but it took me a while to recover. It's not easy. How many um, weeks? It actually took me like three months. Wow. wow. Yeah. I was like happily swimming. Lepas tu, tuk, tear something. Oh, kena tear. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So, which means whichever doctor and I mm-hmm. think we yeah. need to advocate this. He could this. slumber. He said, you can exercise, yeah. do whatever yeah. you want. Yeah. I think no. the most important is yeah. whatever that yeah. you want to do with yourself, ladies. You have to gauge. And, yeah. You need to, first of all, make sure that the person that yeah. you are consulting yes. yeah. is legit. 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 Yes. yes, please. There yeah. are some who yeah. says I can do this for you and at half a price? Yeah. No. Please, yeah. please get them uh, proper. And just yeah. because get it works proper. for us doesn't mean that yeah. you have to do it. Yeah. You, know, you so just have to make sure. I, yeah. That I mean, inserting a disclaimer. Disclaimer. Here, please yeah. see a professional, yeah. a doctor, yeah. a surgeon, at a you know at a yeah. proper hospital. Correct. And get the right advice before you make these decisions. I yeah. mean, yes, you know what worked for us. Mm. So like for you. me, it's been three years already. What, 45, 46, yeah. 47, 48? Yeah, <laughs> Lupo by age. Correct. <laughs> Three years. But the first year, I was bulky. I was like still pff, that same weight. And mm-hmm. I, I told my doctor, Are you happy now with yourself? Yeah, that's because I worked hard for it. Right. I'm very happy. Mm-hmm. And you know, this is like years, three years later. <clears throat> Last year, because of MCU, aku makan banyak. Mm-hmm. You know, I can't help it. But after that, I was like, I'm going to come out with my own wonder suit corset so I can actually feel good and like mm. really wear it. Mm-hmm. And I was wearing it for like at least like a year, macam tu. Swim with it, everything. You still have to compress here, honey. You know, the mm. fact that matter is you love your corset. Okay. I know. I'm wearing it now. <laughs> <laughs> and I didn't believe in that. I, I swear, zama zama okay. saloma. I, I need convincing. Mm-hmm. Yes. Because I'll give you my corset when you're ready yeah. to wear it. Okay. Okay, because we have it like helps. 3XL. Until yeah. 3XL. Right. It helps. It does. Mm. Right. So it gives you a good posture. For me, it's more like for posture, and I was super disciplined. Of course, mm. I tak ada selera sangat nak makan banyak. Which is not a bad it thing. it never happened overnight. <laughs> yeah. What's good is also, okay, like right now, I have one corset which you endorse, yeah. and you know which one. Yeah. But the whole of, the last two weeks have been back-to-back shows. Yeah. And because of it being back-to-back shows, I've been wearing the corset, Wherever I am. You need another one, I'll send you another one. You need two or three Surprisingly, even the corset is getting loose. Loose. Because because I I realize it's because the last uh, last week when I put it, I'm like, eh? I can go another one. Can I say something Mm. about women? Kurus Kres ni kan? Jenis macam, you cannot be obsessed with your weight. Let me tell you that for me, through my experience, Mm -hmm. I was so obsessed about getting onto that weighing scale. Mm. And that was like mentally depressing, giving yes. me all this, alamak, kenapa I'm 70? Ah, kenapa I'm like still 85? It's not about that. It's the size. Yeah. For me, kalau you dah kecil, you tak payahlah nak, 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 nak tengok-tengok mm. berapa your weight. Okay. Because when you measure, especially when the designer measures you, it's like, eh, size dah kecil. Penting. For me, that's it. As long as I know, <laughs> I can only get to like, ah, I will never be an S, hello. Yeah. I'm an M. So I started I with my corset L, yeah. uh, M, but now I can wear S. But I'm still wearing an M. Yeah. You know, so so what? For me, as long as I boleh pakai baju baju lama, kan. you know, it's like 10 years I ago, wow, I can still wear it. Yeah. That's all. Yeah, because I've been stepping have, on I will the, limit. I've been stepping on the scale every single no, day after yeah. I've had a dump in the morning. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, that, that's important. Yeah, to you only gotta, weigh like, yourself in yeah, the morning. We all, all know. Yeah, oh, and it, I'm like, I'm stuck at that number, and yeah. I'm like, what's going on? This is I'm the thing. eating like so little. I hate weighing scales. But anyway, <laughs> when we come back, we're gonna talk yeah. about <laughs> self hatred, self body hatred, yeah. mm-hmm. and body shaming, and all that good stuff. This is the Wow Show. And we're back. This is the Wow Show. I'm Shazmin Shamsudin with Joanne Kam, mm-hmm. Ning Baizura. Hey. And it's women on women. Yes. Yep. We talk about issues that women really want to talk about. 
And of course, uh, today's venue sponsor is Domitis Bangsa, redefining senior living with energy and style. Style. And that's what I love. I the green. love. <laughs> I love the green around it. No, yeah, here's the thing. By. When we're talking about senior living, we are haunted by images of old folks home. Very drab. Yeah. Where, very drab, where, yeah. where you have to co-share your rooms. <laughs> and yeah. there's always that smell Okay, that's that that certain smell you go in, you know. But over in places like Domitis, right? Um, it's happening. It's like yeah. it's like it's honestly, so it's like your own Bangsa. apartment. Yeah, yeah. And yeah. we are in the middle of Bangsa. Yeah, and you can have your own scooter. I can have my own scooter <laughs> when I'm old. I yeah. mean, when I'm old, I mean, like in twenty years time when uh. I'm seventy, yeah. I would want to stay in some place like this where there's a community. Yeah. I can make. Own age friends. Is that, is that thing? Is that yeah. like mature, mature yeah. Yeah. seniors? Mm-hmm. Exactly. Yeah, and and also have like nice activities home, yeah. like yeah. mahjong session. Yeah. I think there's also a like, lot of activities, a lot of activities. like yeah. cooking right. show, cooking. I cooking think it's healthy yeah. for for as you age. Because yeah. like um, I'm I'm looking at my mother mm-hmm. right now. Right, mm-hmm. she's eighty, but she she uh, well, her background was a teacher and all that, but. Um, I mean, if she, if she didn't have me, I think she would be happy living here too. Mm-hmm. It helps with your mental health. Mm, yeah. You have friends, you make new yeah. friends. And you know, as you get, get older, yeah, your children will leave you, you know, blah, blah, blah. I don't know burden with my children, you know. It's like, hey, come and visit me at my right. cool place. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. Don't be afraid. Don't yeah. be afraid of change. I think that's coming into my yeah. 50s. Yeah. That's my motto is... Yeah. Don't be afraid to change and yeah. to grow. Just and because you're 50 doesn't yeah. mean that you can't change. To be yeah. fair, I think a lot of uh, people our age, especially single women, mm-hmm. are already thinking ar- uh, around those lines, you know, yeah. of what we're going to do when we get to that age. The worry is and always who do we want to do it with? We want our back. friends yeah, to live exactly. together. We yeah. want to have a community. Yes. I wouldn't yeah. mind a community uh, because, like, again... Like Ning, you were mentioning, it's very important to have different groups of friends. Yes, yes. So yes. at least if one becomes toxic, then yeah. you can <laughs> run to yeah. the other group. Yeah. And actually, I have so yeah. many friends that are not artists. They're just not celebrities. Yeah. yeah. Just all the normal mummies, the business women. Mm-hmm. They're just like the the ones in the kerja, the tai tais. Mm-hmm. You know, it's just sometimes you need to absorb a little bit of this tai tai energy. Sometimes yeah. you need to absorb mm-hmm. just like a little bit of like all, all these normal normal it's, people energy. Yeah. yeah. So they don't judge you. Yeah. You know? Or sometimes it's just like uh, I've just realized. Now Complete. that I'm also seeking friends who are more mature, mm. yeah. my yes, age, yes, because yes. I've been always dealing That's with, in entertainment, yeah. we're always dealing with the 30-year-olds, 30 plus, yes. and sometimes I do feel a little disconnection. Mm-hmm. And then recently, I, I've gotten yeah. to know, uh, they call themselves seniors, but I don't call themselves seniors. They say, okay, once you're 50 and above, you can be in this group. Mm-hmm. I'm like... <laughs> okay, fine. I am fifty, but I do not yeah. like any of the seniors that I know. Yeah. But what's nice after I talk to them, I realize, like, I think I'm going through perimenopause. And I am already. Yeah, can. <laughs> and it's something which they can relate. Yeah. What's best is because yeah. they've gone through it. Because yes. these are all like they're almost sixty. Yeah. Yes. They have everybody's number on call. Yeah. Every specialist. Can best, can? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, you not you got cardiac. Okay, you <laughs> two are already people, cardiac. Yeah. Ah, you go and see this doctor. <laughs> I love these ah, kind of friends. Ah, I ah, love you it. got perimenopause. Yeah. Okay, this is what you do. All the symptoms. <laughs> and they've gone through it. They're yeah. like, yeah, it took me three years, you <laughs> okay. know. Ah. Well, in yeah. short, it's great to have friends your age. And at some Correct. point, you're going to think about, um, well, s- senior living and mm-hmm. your community. So check out Domitis Bangsar. Yes. yes. Now let's come back to, to our Kuros craze. To yes. our Kuros craze. Siapa, siapa yang kat luar tu, I think, for those of you out there mm. who do not, yang konon-konon tak mengaku, tapi I tak tipu. Jangan tipu. Semua mm. nak kuros. We, semua orang nak kuros. Semua nak kuros. Uh, if Lelaki, not, perempuan, yeah. adik-adik, if not, mak-mak, takkan, bapa-bapa, takkan semua nak kuros. TikTok. Tak de jual yeah. all these yeah. drinks, all mm. these corsets, hey, the all these exercise things. Yeah, products are the kuros kuros products. Yeah. you know. The okay, <laughs> it wouldn't it be just amazing if you can take a pill. <laughs> I knew you were gonna say Or that. a drink. Magic. A drink. <laughs> but but it, it, even though you take the pill, you need to <laughs> take it for dua yeah. tiga bulan. Yeah. You take the drink, you still have to take it 
Yeah. For two or three bulan. Yeah. And Rajin like, kena sakit perut. Yeah. And then I buat <laughs> Maybe HCG when we're pun lah. kena. Uh-uh. You pun like, mm. it, yeah, it is not an overnight. No. You yeah. need to still maintain certain things in mm. order for the procedure to, to work. work. Okay. Yes. Huh? There's something I want to yeah. discuss. Like, is it all because of impossible body standards that we are kind of like, have taken on these really extreme makeovers on ourselves. I mean... Uh, Personally, I think I know I've come to a fact that I can never grow taller. So... (laughs) (laughs) I've always loved height, you know, but... You can just wear taller shoes. Yeah, I know. Higher shoes. uh, There's only certain amount of of level that I can actually Mm -hmm, wear. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, Dulu, yes, I was like into high heels and all that. But now... you know, it doesn't work anymore because I got ankle issues mm-hmm. <laughs> and lutot issues. So um, I just find that it's whatever it is. Um, people look at you in a certain way, kan? So you should not feel pressured. Again, social media plays a, l- and a very important yep. role. Mm-hmm. A lot. Um, for our, uh, this next generation, they, they get really uh, taken aback and also like very disturbed when, when all these comments are saying, like even my son. He's only 10 and then, you know, not even on social media, his friends are saying he's ugly. What? That, yeah, what? but comments can really make you or break you. Don't mm, look at you know. the comments. Don't look. But it wasn't, he wasn't even on social media. It was just it his just friends so saying. Happened. Right. Mm. So, f- like for me, I would say, just you do you. Kalau orang tak suka you, your size, just tell them, but I love myself. Yeah. You have mm-hmm. a problem with that? Too bad. Macam tu je jawab. Macam mm-hmm. dulu, mm-hmm. somebody actually approached me before I actually did the surgery mm-hmm. and said, Ening, hi, how are you? How many months pregnant are you? Oh my God. I took a joke because mm. I was just like, uh, tak sempat nak jawab apa-apa because I'm a bit dull, kan? Then I, I was like, oh God, I should have said something to her. Yeah. And then I said, but I'm not pregnant. Oh, okay, bye. I was like, mm. come on, body shaming is like so 1970s, ke, 40s. Yeah. Ke, but the thing is, I don't think she even realized that it's body shaming because. Of course, she did. Okay, we as Malaysians <laughs> sometimes are very tactless. Yeah. I know. Because hey, it's a no, conversation I'm opener. I'm Hi, I'm Joe. Hey, say hi, Nampa. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. It's, yeah, yeah. it's, it's so drama. Yeah, though. that's a statement, uh. you know? But. People don't realize that that statement yeah. is body shaming. So shaving. inappropriate. If you do this, please stop. stop. Yeah. Okay. It's not. You just have to like. It's not a good mm-hmm. opener. Mm-hmm. Tone it down a little bit, especially yeah. on my on my comments. People do say, "Eh, uh-huh. cepatnya kurus." Yeah. Kurus Jumat pun susah. Kurus. <laughs> Gemuk pun susah. Nah, nah, no, I don't yeah. say that. I just say I love myself. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I think you need to come. <laughs> well, we all have our own body expectations. Yeah. I mean, yeah. this, demons, <laughs> demons, expectations, whatever you want to call yeah, yeah, about yeah. it. Yeah. Like I have been at my thinnest uh, when I was seventy-two, and when I look at pictures, I'm like, oh my god, I'm, I'm this slim. But at that time, when I was that slim, I still think of myself as a fat girl. Mm. So it's, it's, it's your mind, but it's up to a point where, okay, you're going to do this, fine. If it makes you happy, do it. Yeah. But uh, to what extent? Yeah. You need yeah. to be, I guess, I guess you need to be real. Yeah. You know? First, you have to see your budget is right or not. Ah, betul. <laughs> budget too important, eh? Ada budget eh? ke tak? Okay, ah, like, ada budget nak kurus ke tak? Yeah. Ah. And, and then, cut, cut your coat according to your baju lah. Yeah, and also, you, you follow... need to understand anything. The whether you're having bariatric, cons, or yeah. HCG, or whether, it's not a, yeah. it's a long process. Yeah. 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 It's at least, like right now, I'm, I'd imagine. Ah, six Correct. weeks. This Correct. is what I need to maintain. Six weeks. Yeah, mm-hmm. it's a lot of It's not like six days out. Tapi, you, do you feel like you are a bit angry? Because you don't get the food yes, that of you course. like. <laughs> of course. She seems a bit hangry today. I'm hungry. hungry. I'm always hungry. <laughs> hangry, hungry. Yeah. yeah. Um, but uh, I, I just think that um, uh, there's nothing... Okay, la, who cares if you want to judge us? But the point is, even women out there, if you stop judging or stop saying things that will make... Even if you say... Mm-hmm. Hey, oh my god, you look so tired. That is already like Yeah, please don't. I think no. <laughs> find something positive that yeah, you can I say. Think we should. Even yeah. even if let's Shine say a light on somebody, yeah, you know? even if let's say dia dah gemuk sikit, 
find something else to be because okay yeah. the issue is a lot of women when yeah. they see other women the it's oh, it's, jealous. Jealous. it's not even <laughs> jealousy or judgment yeah. i yeah. think because we were taught to look at our culture our culture yeah. somewhere and you're like, okay, what's the one thing that I can say about her? The fact that she has changed. So instead of saying, hey, come double star, just say, oh my God, I really love your bracelet. Or your lipstick uh-huh. is so, yeah. oh, this color is very sexy. What's that? Make the woman feel good. <laughs> yeah. And why can't we just yeah. be uplifting yeah. with other yeah. women? If you can do this with your clients about you want to get that money <laughs> and that job yes. even the client other I'm yeah, sure yeah. other yeah. client like so ugly you're like oh my god tapi puji lah juga ah dah is like oh my god you're ugly okay but uh, you have uh, is like other time you meet some client and then and they're, they're your fans they're like they just want to yeah. be in yeah. your aura yeah. and then you like Ugh. if his hands touch me usually it's me lah ah huh? uh, because I'm touchable yeah. you not ah uh, kan hey, tak boleh Eh, I pun ada juga Dia touch yeah, dekat slit, belakang je Slit ah. You're not very clever to slit gili, My one very gili, simple gili, gili. The only reason Where I show my nenen Is so they will look at my nenen Instead of my weight Okay <laughs> So dia kalau tak tengok perut Dia ambil, tengok tetek pun cukup lah Itu Ini hard A eh. Aku dah hard sell lah How many years Aku ah. jual tetek dengan comedy yeah. Okay ah, That's why it But, but it, it still works And then So so <laughs> With women You know, why yeah. don't you just go and tell Freeze. it? My God, your tete very nice. Be yeah. like men like that. Yeah. Men will never say, eh, kau dah... Unless the man is uh, <laughs> color rainbow, yeah, unless yeah, say, yeah, eh, kau dah gemuk eh, kau dah yeah. kerus eh. <laughs> eh, belum tidur eh. <laughs> eh, ngapa eh, why your... Yeah. Ngapa muka macam... Are you ill? ill? But, but real what, men, what, if we realize yeah. with the straight men, yeah. men they will never say, oh, Shaz, Have you lost weight? Ah? Oh, they'll, yeah, they'll yeah. They're not straight men. Ah, usually ah. they're not straight men. Yeah, mulut cipa tu lah. Itu uh-huh. aku cakap mulut cibai. <laughs> <laughs> so ladies, do you think that you need to conform to a certain extent? I mean, with the kurus craze in mind, or are you happy doing what makes you happy? Me? Um, at this point of my life, I am very happy with whatever that I've, I've done with my body because I love myself first. Mm-hmm. Um, and I mean, it took me a long time. It's, people might say, Allah, senang lah, it's easy for her to say that. Mm. But hello, it's a lot of discipline, it's mm-hmm. a lot of hard work. So I mm-hmm. love my body and I love telling other women how great they look no matter what size they are. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Right. You have to love yourself. Yeah. I think for me, it took me a while Uh, because I've always been plus size mm-hmm. and mm-hmm. I look at myself uh, some pictures over the years even at my smallest I still think I am big so yeah. for me it's half and half yeah. I do want to look slightly better mm-hmm. and it's because I want to look better mm-hmm. and I know I can but uh, ultimately I still want to be plus size so yes I think the most important is for women need to love themselves first. Mm-hmm. But it's not be an easy Be the best route. version that you yeah. can be. Yeah. I would it's like to easy. say I'm halfway there. I'm yeah, not definitely. fully there. And this is in all honesty. But I think I've come to accept, especially as I'm going through this age, mm-hmm. it's like, look, I maybe have 20 more years. And yeah. what do I want out yeah, of it? Yeah, what is it that yeah. you want? You want to lose the tummy? You want to lose the what? For me, yeah. I just want to lose about. You cannot lose so much here. Tak boleh. No, no, tak boleh. Hey, that is your. No, I cannot lose more get... than 10 kg because yeah. when I lose. But when you lose, you lose everything. Oh, That's when I lose thing. 8 yeah. kgs, I realize my nenen also went, ah, which is you very late for me. Okay, we'll figure. <laughs> we'll to, figure it then out. I have to we'll leave. figure it out. But yeah, it's it's. Fi- I think yeah. the process is there, and you need to figure mm. it out. Yeah. Mm-hmm. The best is to consult. support yourself. Yeah. I think as much as we have friends who support. I think yeah. internally as well, you need to support yourself yeah. and you need yeah. to be at the stage where that you can say, okay, I want to do this. Let's I do I want to do yeah. this. Let's do this. And after this, let's live a little. All right. Yeah. Well, it's been the WOW show and uh, Women on Women, we want to discuss the issues that women want to talk about. So if you have any kind of, um, you know, topics you think that uh, yes. we should discuss... Yeah. Just, you know, write a comment yeah. in our socials and um, we'll, we'll get definitely to you. Yeah, yeah, we'll talk about it. it. Let's <laughs> talk, talk about, about it. it. Well, it's a wrap and this 
It's the, the Wow Show. show.